good morning good afternoon good evening based on the time you're watching this video uh, my name is yogesh agiwal from crosso leadership journeys uh, this video is created to introduce you to the work we do at crosso leadership journeys uh, so i'm going to show you some material i'm going to use some deck uh, so that you get an idea of the work we do uh, before we meet in person so before i start let me uh, if we introduce myself so i don't come from an lnd or hr background so i i'm a hardcore it person i started in 1989 in uh, mahindra and mahindra bombay then i went to us for 6 years uh, lived in singapore for 2 years and uk for a year and then in 1999 i moved to india and then uh, predominantly after that i worked in wipro for a very long time and i had no plans of getting into leadership development or hr but in 2004 i got uh, the award from azim premji and this award is given to people it's called the best people manager award and it's uh, one of the prestigious awards uh, you get and once i got the award i was invited to come and talk in one of the leadership programs on how did you get the award so i created a 19 minutes uh, session on what do i do my best practices and uh, that was liked by the participant quite a bit so i was invited again the next thursday and then again the next thursday and i kept coming there uh, every thursday for i think 2 years 2004 to 2006 and i got the award uh, from azim premji again in 2006 so then again i I mean, I became all the more popular because uh, at that time nobody had got the award twice. So then the HR invited me for their offsite, and then I started, you know, getting more and more involved. So they would tell me that what kind of programs I should bring in. So I slowly started getting involved myself uh, uh, quite a bit in the HR initiatives. And then in 2009, our head of HR said that why don't you move and Uh, lead the department of 20 trainers at that time and uh, i said that i don't really have a formal background of psychology but then i think wipro they really allow people to move from one function to another so i moved and then i led that for 7 years and in 2015 i started uh, cross all leadership journeys and uh, again i never had any inclination to create my own company but what i was seeing in the market is that there were not many companies who were uh, you know creating world class content at an affordable price so if you look at lot of companies which is prevalent in the mid size segment they had i think the option of either going to a regular trainer who didn't really had uh, you know infrastructure to create content when i say content is like so for example if you look at this workbook so if you can see this workbook on the video uh, you will see that there are a lot of places to write reflect uh, uh, you know it's like a it's like they can actually write down whatever they are going through the class it's a very nice workbook world class workbook and uh, this was missing in the market i saw that very few trainers were actually paying attention to the quality of these kind of content so that was one part and secondly i saw that you know people were not really having a journey approach and i feel that i mean no human transformation can happen overnight i mean you really need a sustained effort so i said that if you were to start a company which is uh, you know which is having world class content and uh, which can run in a journey format i think it can be a nice business proposition and with that i you know quit wipro and started uh, cross all leadership journeys so let me uh, walk you through the deck actually so you will get a complete clarity of the work we do so let me share the screen here so just give me a second i'll just share the screen and take you through the so this is uh, you know the deck that i am going to walk you through so if you look at this deck uh, and if you look at the logo what does it tell you i mean if i were in person with you i would have maybe waited for some time and listen to you but i'll give you a minute to think about the logo that you see on the screen here so maybe i mean the general response i get is you know you can see those yellow people as as you know different departments or people coming together 
and the center that you see below is actually the uh, you know the purpose that sometimes the organization may have or it may not have so the idea is that crossover helps create the purpose uh, you know for organizations and uh, the the black person you see here he is actually the strategic leader on the top and we say that he actually when he turns around he becomes a servant leader so that's the idea when we started and as the name suggests we help people cross over their leadership challenges using journey model and the tagline says that building leaders at all levels so we essentially uh, work from the top till the front line and i'll take you through this so uh, it's a very small presentation i have got around seven slides which i'll walk you through so let me walk you through the first uh, you know framework so if you look at this we uh, we uh, you know we take care of the leadership development at all levels so if you see uh, we have the you know the top level we have senior management which would be anybody at gm and above including the ceo mid management is anybody with 6 years to 15 years experience and associate is 0 uh, or 1 to 5 years experience so we take care of the entire organization but what we realize is that unless the entire organization is aligned i think uh you will you will very often hear that you know the participant would say that this actually should be given to my boss and uh, this continues for every level so our thinking is that can we do it for all levels together and if you look at on the next which is about the four types of leadership that we run which is self leadership team leadership operational and organizational so you really make the leader very well rounded and the way we do it is we have this uh, you can see this journey uh, you've got every month there is a workshop and between the month we uh, you know engage the participant with an article a video we send we give them an application of learning document and there is a back end team that works with the participant to you know apply the learning so once they have done the first module then we move to the next module and this journey can continue for Six months, twelve uh, months. In fact, we have a client who is doing it for eighteen months uh, because we have got thirty-six different leadership areas, and you can choose. Uh, and I'll talk about more in terms of which are our popular and which are our foundation leadership skill. And then we invite, uh, you know, if you see this person leadership engagement, so invite you, the senior management, to come and talk to the participant because. uh see human beings always you know listen with a context so if you generally talk to them they're not in that mode of listening but we basically prepare them uh, for uh, them to listen to you so for example even the month of february if we do uh, say contextual leadership as a module what we would like you to do is come in and talk about uh, you know your experience of uh, developing people so then what happens is the participant uh, that he learns from crossover and the uh, you know the leaders speak that happens with you becomes very powerful it becomes absolutely connected with the participant so we do this journey and then we do a review with you and the stakeholder and the lnd head if you have or hr head to ensure that whatever investment you are making uh, you are getting the return from the investment so we have this and then this journey can continue now as i said that we look at uh, four leadership and if you know we always keep customer on the center because there are times when you know you may uh, get so bogged down by your operating margin or uh, your pressure about cost that you may forget the customer yeah so we always want to remind the participant that customer is king so we have to always remember that and these are the nine skills that we feel are the top skills of a leadership journey you know so you start with emotional intelligence which is the foundation skills uh, and this we have kept it as a flagship program um, so if you go to our youtube channel uh, you can see a series of video i have created on emotional intelligence and you can get a glimpse of what we cover in that and then once he is able to manage his emotion we move to how is able to communicate his uh you know his thoughts uh, his interaction with his people uh, third is customer centricity so am i understanding the strategy of my customer am i understanding which market is in what is the product he is dealing with what are the changes that are happening in his environment 
and based on that can i uh, bring align my strategy to customer strategy so the fourth uh, module is strategic thinking then you move to change management because for your strategy to work you will have to make changes uh, in the system so change management becomes important and uh, you can't do change all on your own you have to have collaboration with people so you need collaboration skills and digital skills for an it company may not be as critical because i think most people do understand but if it is a manufacturing company i think we also want to include digital skills in the leadership journey and then execution excellence is executing all that you have done so far in a timely manner and then operational excellence is to execute with profitability so if you look at these nine skills uh, on the screen i think they are very powerful to make the leaders ready and then uh, this is a collage of you know the modules that are at different levels so i just put this together to give you the confidence that uh, you know we have got everything to manage your entire organization so once you uh, once you give us the opportunity i think we take care of the entire leadership across the board yeah and this is our uh, you know most popular journey uh, which most customers uh, do take us and do like it and which as i said emotional intelligence is the foundation program and once that is done then you look at contextual leadership and coaching so in contextual leadership i think what we cover is that every leader has a style and every report he has a level so for example you know if you are a micromanager you know and uh, and then there is another leader who is a uh, delegator like complete delegation now both are good leadership qualities there is no doubt about it but you need to remember that uh, you have to be micromanager uh, only when the person is new in the organization or the person is new to the project what generally happens is that uh, you know as a leader if you are dominant leadership style is micromanager even after 5 years of working with this person you will end up you know giving the same instruction and which is not letting the person grow on the other hand if you are a delegator and you always delegate then a newcomer will find it very difficult that is there is nobody to give direction so in this module we essentially try and uh, bring that awareness in the leader that you all will have a dominant leadership style can i bring the awareness and flex my style based on the report is level and coaching comes very handy with this whole module then you move to communication skills with humble inquiry so this is again the third module which essentially says that i think as a manager you know we end up giving a lot of instructions uh, we you know it's very natural i mean but the what edgar sheen who's research says that if you can inquire with people before giving prescriptive instruction i think you will get more out of people and their people will be very inspired so at a leadership level we are teaching them how to learn humble inquiry skills and then there is this fourth module which is very powerful which is multiplier mindset essentially uh, if you look at 1950s to 1980s i think the whole focus was on efficiency so if you were to manufacture five product a day the management will push you to manufacture 15 20 or 25 but in 1980 steven covey uh, really influenced the entire world and said that i think efficiency is not just enough you have to also look at the effectiveness and that is where this whole prioritization came into play so dr steven covey said that look at your priorities and work on the priorities so if you have got 10 priorities uh, and if you feel that number 7 or if you have got 10 items to do and if you feel that number 7 9 and 10 is your priority and you move them to 1 uh, 2 and 3 uh, what dr steven go did not teach us is that what do i do with the remaining 7 now if if you don't take care of those 7 uh, they will fiddle with your first 3 and you won't be able to achieve the your priority so what we have done at crossover is we looked at the research of rory vaden at the research of cal newport and uh, created a beautiful journal you know which we help you to uh, achieve uh, almost like 15 to 20% extra time in this whole process 
and uh, we introduce concept like deep work and procrastination on purpose very interesting module and we have got concept for, for every of those modules as i end the program and this uh, uh, talk uh, i will also show you the concept note and then the last two modules are influencing skills and art of negotiation so uh, influencing skills we uh, bring in this element of how do you use individual influence and how do you use group influence because if you are a senior person in an organization i think you need to learn influencing because no matter how much you push things to happen they will, they will take a longer time if you use your authority but if you do with influencing it is a more sustainable approach and last is art of negotiation and teamwork now this is not like really you know big negotiation that we really focus on meaning we do cover that part but ideally it is day to day negotiation so at the three levels we contextualize the content at that level so these are the six modules that we have at uh, so which is like the most sought after module uh, this is the you know journey element so as i was telling that we are in what you saw in the beginning that journey these are some more components which are if you like you could uh, take as then these are like optional if you like to really go more deeper in the journey so like if you look at the left side you have this transformation partners concept so what we do is that we have you know the participant divide into two uh, groups of two so if you have got you know 20 participants you would have 10 groups uh, of two each and the mentoring team actually works very closely with this uh, two people to uh, really help them connect to each other and then they also train the you know the people of each other so for example this uh, this guy on the left will train the people of this guy and this guy will train the other people so what essentially happens is that the uh, learning that they have in the classroom is very beautifully imparted uh, you know to the participant and then we have the cnc club so if you're familiar with postmasters club i think we use a similar model to get the people to uh, do research present and then on the right hand side you see uh, we we have something called a boost document so i just show this boost document to you so if you can see on the screen here this is the document that is given to the supervisor so he actually observes that how is this report you applying uh, the learning in real life and then there is this concept of relish which is essentially saying that how is my uh, how is the reportee's participant reporting experiencing the managerial is there a change that is happening in the managerial so this is the element slide uh, this is a content development slide essentially i want to tell you that all our content is done very systematically it's not uh, it's not uh, just from the net or we do complete plagiarism check we buy images so the point is that even if you were to share the work that we do with your customers you don't have to worry about copyright issues it's completely done copyright free and then this is a governance model which you would uh, not very often see in uh, you know most of the uh, you know training companies you know? so if you look at on the left hand side we basically these are the people in yellow are our crossover people on the top are customer people so we basically you know on the conceptualization we meet the stakeholders the senior management the hr participant understand the requirement contextualize the content so the delivery will happen with the contextualized content we also given to the uh, the mentoring team so they use that content and once in a month we do a review with you to ensure that whatever was agreed in the beginning is being actually uh, you know, delivered and you are happy with the work that we signed up for uh, this is a training effectiveness slide, which is, I mean, a combination of all the journey that we do and finally the outcome, which is the impact that a participant uh, can make in the organization. And if you can by now see that, uh, you know, with this super engagement and the whole structure, which is so nicely run, uh, there is a very less chance that somebody will not transform it. It's just the journey really makes them transform the whole thing and i'm going to share this deck with you or uh, so you can you know, take your time take your own time to watch this video and we can get on a call to discuss this further uh, these are our clients i think this slide was made i think in 2000 
2017. Uh, but today we are across 100 uh, customers and pretty much every industry uh, you talk about in uh, we have done we have done a lot of international works we have done in Myanmar, Bangladesh, UAE, uh, Singapore, some of these areas. And uh, these are some of the testimonials uh, from our client. And if you read this and you get the deck, you would see that predominantly our quality of delivery, quality of content, uh, you know, quality of uh, uh, commitment, or you know, that you can see in in across the testimonial that you see. And um, this was like my uh, my framework that I wanted to share with you. I'll just take one or two more slides to uh, walk you through the other modules that we have. So I'm just going to show you the 36 modules that we have uh, as part of our catalog. So you can you know pick up, look at them. And for each of these modules, uh, there is a single slide that we have. You know, so this slide gives you uh, what the participant will learn and what demonstrable behaviors uh, you know, will they uh, show off to the program. And on the right hand side, you see the collateral. So you kind of get a brief idea of uh, you know, what they will learn and what demonstrable behavior they will show. So for each of the 36 module, you will find one slide. So you can take a look at them and then uh, you can uh, uh, let us know which modules you would be more interested. I'll just quickly show you once you are finalized the module. Uh, you know, this is like the concept note that we have created for every module. So, as you can see on the screen here, uh, this is the concept note. So, we will uh, share this with you because we don't want to uh, bombard you with the information. We, we want to go step by step. So, first is the journey model, then we look at the module list, then we look at what are your issues. Uh, how do you want to develop your people? Then you tell us that these are the modules. Uh, then we give you this concept note. So if you see this concept note, it's very nicely done. So you know, first we start with the introduction of the module, why this module is important. Uh, then we love to talk about a three level approach. So if you look at every module, we have actually created the content for every level because if I train a general manager and if I train a frontline, even the topic is same, but I think the uh, the whole content has to be different. The case studies have to be different. The situation, the role plays. So, and the reason we have everything at three levels because then there is a common language in the organization. Otherwise, you have a different mod model at the top, middle, and front. Then it doesn't work. Or if you only train in a single level, it doesn't work well. So this is the idea. And as you go inside that, you will see the journey engagement module model. So they will talk about how the journey works. Again, what you saw in the deck, it's a repetition of this here in the concept note, what do the participants will learn. And then if you see, uh, you know, the collateral that you saw, so I show you the physical card. This is the this is the card that you will see the model in the, uh, in the concept note. And then there is this detailed, I think, flow that it's very beautifully done. So you can see that there are some things which are common uh, to uh, every level. So you will see this uh, level one, two, three written. But if you go down, uh, if there is something which is not common, I'll just walk you through the not common as you can see here. So as you see here, level one, there is a very different situation. Level two, there is a different situation. Level three, there is a different situation. Yeah. So I just, uh, you know, just uh, unshare my screen now and uh, just spend some time with you. So I hope you uh, liked, uh, liked our uh, journey approach, uh, uh, the whole plus content. And I think one or two things I just still wanted to show you is that uh, we have this uh, very nice uh, you know, card that we create. So if you can see this, uh, this is like how we keep it on the table. You know? So when the participants come in, they see this. Uh, we also hang this, uh, this dangler in the class you know, and we've got some posters and uh, so what happens is that there is a very beautiful energy that gets created in the room. So it's like a psychological effect, you know, because they realize that if, if the company who's training us has taken so much of effort, uh, let me at least uh, you know, apply what they're asking me to apply. Uh, so these are you know, a complete environment of positivity, which runs for six months. You know, the, the mentoring team that we have are 
very nice people uh, who are very patient with the participant because we do know that uh, they have their day jobs to do, they have a lot of client pressure. And I come from an operations and sales and delivery background, so I do know the challenges people go through. Uh, so I've, I mean, the entire team, but let me show you my team so you will get an idea of the quality of team that we have. So just give me one second, I'll share it again. So these are the people that we have in our team here. So to see this, so this is our website, uh, crossoverleaders.com. And you can see a lot of things that I talked about. So I just want to spend time on the team that we have here. So if you see, uh, I am myself a facilitator. So uh, even today I do uh, five to eight days of, five to seven days, six days a month for sure. Some days it is less, but uh, uh, I do hands-on training even today. Uh, we have got Padma Kumar, who is a gold medalist from Madurai Kamraj University, one of the uh, very senior facilitators. He's been he's holding senior position in Toastmaster. He was a very senior guy in Microsoft. Uh, we have got Amita, who was in Accenture for a very long time. We have got Amini Agawal. She is from I am Lucknow. Uh, we have got Sanjay Devdu from ISB. Karuna was the head of LD at Triance. Uh, so I think if you if you go to the website, you will see you see very good set of people. So we are 22 of us in the company, and you can see their profile whenever you get a chance. And um, I just unshare it one last time. Okay, so I think uh, I hope uh, I know this was a little longer uh, video for you, but I hope uh, I was able to give you uh, all the details that would help you to understand us better. Uh, but I would really look forward to seeing you and uh, uh, getting to know more about uh, what you would like us to do. And um, uh, fortunately, uh, we have had all our customers uh, with us for so many years. Uh, because once we uh, once you engage us, then I think pretty much all your people development, including coaching, content, uh, frontline, mid-level, senior has been taken care. So that you don't have to worry about the people development complete. Uh, so good. Uh, so look forward to seeing you again sometime. Thank you so much. Bye bye.